Early in the day, organizers at this Vancouver conference for nonprofit housing were optimistic about what the government would announce. It's very, very welcome news. It's something we've been advocating for. We've got hundreds of shovel-ready projects where the zoning is in place, permitting is in place. What they're lacking is the finance. Yeah. But then came the details, specifically that $15 billion in loan funding for rental housing would not be available until 2025-2026. Same timeline for the billion dollars for purpose-built community housing. The CEO of the BC Nonprofit Housing Association called me back to make sure I knew how disappointed she was. A sentiment echoed by the provincial housing minister. I'm a little concerned that the money is uh, out to 2025 and 2026. Uh, people are struggling for housing right now and we need those dollars right now. The problem is when interest rates went up, some rental housing projects were stalled or shelved. The cash promise today likely won't mean move-in ready homes until at least 2030, says the BC Nonprofit Housing Association. And there's no guarantee builders will take the government up on its offer. So you can provide low cost loans, uh, but if the private sector looks at market conditions or is looking at the economics of, of their projects and it still doesn't work, even with low cost loans, they're not going to build. This researcher is glad to hear yeah. the government talk about housing, but... We don't think that the gravity of the housing crisis is reflected in um, the announcements that were made today. And the thing about waiting so long for cash to start flowing is a lot can change in a couple of years, including governments. Long-term promises may not survive an election. Lindsay Duncombe, CBC News, Vancouver. Let's bring in Chief Political Correspondent Rosie Barton. So, Rosie, what's the message here that the government is trying to send with this update? Adrian, I think it's a recognition that, that things are just as hard for the government as they are for Canadians, frankly. They are feeling squeezed partly by their own past spending during COVID in particular, but also by interest rates and inflation. And this is the government trying to operate within those constraints. So, yeah, you're certainly going to hear the Conservatives talk a lot in the coming days about spending, but actually it's relatively small compared to past budgets and updates from this government. This is really about trying to build on things that have already been done, particularly when it comes to housing, but not make things worse for Canadians at a time when inflation is starting to track down and there's also a hope that interest rates have now hit their peak. And of course, politics at play. Can you give us a sense of the politics going forward? Well, we're not heading to an election. That, that's the headline. The Conservatives don't like this, but there is enough in here to keep the NDP happy, and that's their dancing partner. Things are going to be pretty bleak, frankly, when it comes to growth and employment for some time yet. And the dilemma for the government is going to be, how do you sell your economic policy as good for Canadians when things aren't getting better immediately, just over time? And there may not be enough time politically here for this government, but um, we'll have to wait and see.